The light, the wind, the heat. I can still feel it all. I dream of it every night. No way. The birds in the aviary are beautiful. My mother would have absolutely loved them. She, she loved birds. Always did. So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while yet. Have you seen the mammoths too? Go tell the staff, that way maybe they'll believe me. And have you seen any dragons too? Dr. Mangling. You're finally awake, number 10. What can I do for you? Well, it seems to me that I'm cured. And now I'd like to be on my way. Given your condition, that would seem somewhat premature and perhaps even unreasonable, number 10. I am not a number. My name is Kate Walker. I would appreciate it if you would call me by my name, Doctor. There's a perfect example. That aggression boiling up within you. I'm afraid that it may be a significant traumatic after effect. So you're refusing to let me leave? Oh, no, of course not, miss. I have no intention of abusing any of the prerogatives of my position. Nonetheless, first you must submit to a series of tests that are designed to demonstrate that you have fully recovered. You understand. Please, sit down. I... on that? Yes, yes, don't be afraid. What the... Don't worry about these restraints. Merely a simple formality that's part of the protocol that Dr. Olga, our supervisor, has implemented. Right. I do believe that we can begin. Now, be so kind as to state your first and last names, age, and place of birth, please. Answer me, please! I don't at all like the way this meeting is going. I'd better tell this quack as little as possible. Do I need to re To be honest, Doctor, I don't remember. That's not what the lie detector says. Fortunately, your passport can speak for you. Kate Walker, 29 years of age, born in New York City, United States of America. You're using a lie detector? It's procedure. Please stop worrying and talk to me instead of your friends and family. Are you on good terms with them? Absolutely. I get along great with my family and everybody I work with. You don't seem to be particularly scrupulous with regard to the truth, Miss Walker. Unfortunately for you, you are rather more talkative than expected while you are in your coma. A real chatterbox you were, and we took careful notes. We know that lately you had a most unfortunate falling out with all the people you hold dear in New York. 
your mother, your best friend, and even your fiancé. I understand that it all happened after you met Hans Vorlberg, and also a certain Oscar. Tell me about these gentlemen, please. Oscar was an automaton and Hans Vorlberg was the person who made him. We became friends and I went with them on a long journey through Europe. There you have it. To be honest, what I'm interested in, Miss Walker, is that during your travels you were in contact with the Yuko people, the nomads who brought you here to Velsenbor. In your opinion, what should we fear from such a primitive tribe of savages who understand neither law nor border, refusing civilization and settlement? I think, Doctor, that the Yukos live in harmony with nature, time, and space. They have no real reason to change the way they live. Now that is an example of typical American idealism. Maybe you should go back to New York right away. I'm sure your brilliant ideas will be justly appreciated there. Hmm, I see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country? A hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. For the rest, I think I've demonstrated throughout this interview that I present no psychological after-effects from my injuries. I would therefore like you to authorize my release now. Your interview is indeed conclusive, yes. But all the same, I still have some reservation. Your almost subversive ideas and your propensity to lie systematically. I'm sorry, but I'm not used to being interrogated like this. Some years ago, I would have interrogated you in a very different manner, Miss Walker. I grant that... I may still feel some nostalgia for the good old traditional methods. You're one of the very last representatives of a world that is fast disappearing, Miss Walker. A disordered world that no one will miss. This key is much like you, unstructured and uncontrollable. If you're able to find a way to use it to leave this floor, and you shall have proved that you are permanently cured. I would like to get my things back before I leave. You will find them there. Turn around.
But... What on earth's wrong, Miss Walker? I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. You've got to be kidding. I managed to use your stupid key. Gently, Miss Walker. Protocol clearly. I don't give a damn about your protocol. I'm cured. So let me leave and just stop it. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. Right. Since you won't help me, I want to speak with your superior, Dr. Olga. You can do that when she comes by to see you for her daily visit. But please don't count on me to disturb her before then. There's a problem with the key. That's obvious. I need to find out where it comes from. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. These holes. It looks like something's been removed from the key. No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. <laughs> 